Our next question, Steve, how do you set up your office as a hypnotherapist? Okay, great question. And the uh, the way I do that, now I, as you know, I practice in my house. So mm -hmm. I am a little different than a lot of other hypnotherapists in that I feel that it's appropriate to practice in the house. I feel that there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, in another video, I talked about uh, the fact that I do that and why it's better because it reduces stress. Mm -hmm. uh, it cuts costs for, for a lot of hypnotherapists starting out. That's a main concern. They want to know how much money am I going to have to put out before I start making money. So if you can reduce that, that money that's going out, that's, that's very helpful. So for me at this point, it's about peace of mind. You know, I had the office in Beverly Hills, 90210, in the Roxbury Medical Building. Uh, I had the prestige, but I didn't like it because it's so stressful. All of my clients would show up there and they were so stressed out by the time they got there on the 405 driving in California that they, that they weren't really focused and I was, I was the same way. So I moved it to my home and then when I moved to Georgia, I moved it to my home also, kept it in my home. So the way I set up my office is a little different than the way other people do, but essentially I have an area of my house that I use. And I like to use the living room for this. And the reason I do that as opposed to using one of the bedrooms in my house and, and turning that mm -hmm. into my office is because I don't want them to feel that they're, you know, in the bedroom of a house. Uh -huh. I, I feel exactly. there's a, you know, a little bit of a strangeness to that. First of all, they come into a house, mm -hmm. then they're in a they bedroom. They a little bit strange. Right. So that's why I set it up that way. Exactly. Do you have any tips about how you would decorate the living room just to make them feel comfortable or? Great question, because a lot of times people have the tendency to, uh, you know, put pictures of their family or pictures of themselves or so forth. You have to realize that when someone's coming into your house, uh, this is someone you don't know. Now, I'm not saying that they're necessarily going to do anything, but you just don't know. And for safety purposes, I recommend either hiding during the session those pictures of family and so forth or putting them away because really when you think about it, that's for two reasons. Number one, uh, safety issues. Number two, uh, the session is not about you and your family as a hypnotherapist. It's about them. It's about the client. So they, you don't want to get, get off topic and, and have them start thinking, okay, this is somebody's house I'm in. I feel, you know, maybe I, I'm just a visitor exactly. here. And beyond that, uh, for decorating to answer your question further, I like to have calming elements. I like to have things that are very relaxing. Can you give us some examples? Sure. Uh, usually uh, what I recommend to people and what I have would be a water fountain. Okay. Now you can get, now this depends on your personal taste. If you don't like a trickling water fountain, if the sound bothers you or what have you, then don't get it. But we're talking about a $20 item at a store, one of those water fountains with the rocks and so forth. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can set up the, the feeling of being very relaxed. And it's so feel yeah, and it's so simple. Uh, I don't get into aromas because I don't know what people like versus what they don't like. Um, I make sure the environment is quiet. I make okay. sure that uh, there's a sign on the door that says "Do not disturb." You know, my phone's off. Things of that nature. I make sure they know where the bathroom is if they need to to use it and so forth. So it's treated just like an office, but it's a little bit more comfortable. Exactly, exactly. It's it's very comfortable. And a lot of people, we talked about this recently in another video, you know, people worry about that. Hypnotherapists worry about that. Oh my goodness, if I move my office to my home, I'm going to lose professionalism. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lose clients. I'm going to lose prestige. I'm going to lose that cool feeling I have of walking in an office. But you, you really gain a lot more than you lose mm -hmm. because you gain peace of mind. Uh, you end up saving money, which is, as I said, a lot of uh, new hypnotherapists are really uh, concerned about that. And the, the client benefits also because they feel more relaxed. And there is no loss in the, the referral rate. When I was in California, it didn't drop at all. When I moved from my Beverly Hills office to my apartment to see... Really? Yeah, just seeing clients oh. in my apartment, living room, there was no drop in clients. In fact, in fact, it increased because people were more relaxed. They felt better. And people told you that when they oh, said, yeah. oh, I don't mind coming to... They said, thank goodness you got rid of that office. Oh. And I said, well, why didn't you tell me that a year ago when I was thinking about doing it? But exactly. uh, yeah, absolutely.